Welcome to the lesson on dividing decimals. In this lesson, we are going to spend a few moments reviewing division facts, especially terminology. Then we're going to look at the process and procedure for dividing decimal numbers. Every division problem is made up of three parts. The divisor, the number we are dividing by, the dividend, the number we are dividing into, and the quotient, the answer in a division problem. Another way to say the same thing is to say that the dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient. So what's the trick for dividing decimal numbers? The divisor cannot have any numbers to the right of the decimal point. If there are numbers, we have to move the decimal point to the end of the number before beginning our division. In actuality, the process is not as difficult as it might sound. Suppose we want to divide 30 by 2 and 5 tenths. Notice that we have a decimal point in the divisor and that there are numbers to its right. We need first move the decimal point to the end of the divisor after the 5. To balance the equation, we need to move the decimal point to the right the same number of places on the dividend. Basically, what we are doing is multiplying both the divisor and the dividend by 10. From a previous lesson, you will remember that if a decimal point is not apparent, it is always at the end of a number. When we move the decimal point to the right, we need to fill in any blanks created with a zero. The only thing we have left to do is to divide remembering to bring this decimal point straight up into the quotient. Look at the example on the screen. The divisor has two numbers to the right of the decimal point. Therefore, the decimal point needs to move to the right two spaces in both the divisor and the dividend. The decimal point is moved straight up into the quotient, extra zeros are placed, and the division completed. Therefore, the quotient or answer for this problem is 5 and 404 thousandths. In this lesson on dividing decimals, we reviewed our knowledge of the division components and the names of the various parts of a division problem. We also reviewed the strategies for dividing decimals by remembering to move the decimal point to the end of the divisor and then moving it in the same number of places in the dividend. Thank you for being with us as we looked at dividing decimals. We look forward to having you with us again in another lesson.